yeah in this uh, previous session uh, we discussed about the node and it having the two parts one is info part and another one is a link part that we have discussed info info part stores the data or the value which we are storing in the list okay and a link part holds the memory address of the next allotted memory okay next allotted uh, uh, list for example next uh, allotted element okay that memory is it is storing it that is the use of the link part in the node okay now we are discussing about the singly linked list and doubly linked list okay let me discuss uh, singly linked list hold the address of next node okay it only stores the address of next node for example a of 0 is the element no that node having two parts what are the parts can you say <coughs> each node having two parts you said no what are the two parts in yeah info, info part. Uh, another one is link. link part link part okay info part and link part info part stores the data which we stored on the a of 0 suppose one element 5 is we are supposing so we are storing in the a of 0 that place that index means okay 5 e to hold which is holding the element means info part link part holds what that's the question link part holds what one that's it what it will it will hold what the link part will hold address of next very good address, of, holds the, address yes. of the next element correct. correctly you said chandru yes the link part holds the address of the next node okay that is called as singly linked list normally we discuss no that is called singly linked list and you can see the last node you can see the next point the last node will point to null last node means for example a list contains five elements okay let me go with the index a of 0 holds the memory address of a of 1 right correct no uh, yes sir yeah a of 1 will store the yes. memory address of i mean a of 1's link will link part will hold the memory address of a of 2 okay likewise a of 4 link part holds the memory address of a of 5 so to, sorry a of 4 so totally five for example totally five elements are there means 0 to 4 is the indexing no that what a of 3 will hold the memory address of a, a of 4 a of 4 okay then after that a of 4 any elements are there totally 5 only no 0 to 4 are called as 5 elements as per index i am saying correct no then after yes, the fourth there is no element that's what the meaning of the line which i highlighted the last node last node means last element okay the last element node the node having two parts no info part so have its own location for example what is stored in a of 4 it will hold that is fine okay then the a of 4 link part will have the memory address of next element but what is the thing there is no next element because that's so it will return a ah, that's what it doesn't have the next element that's what it does uh, that's what it is holding there it will point to the null null value will be null means there is no element will be stored in that part that is called that is called singly linked list okay that is normal how the linked li node is working that is a single link singly linked list let me go to the next one doubly linked list that means the that link address will hold the previous as the as, a, as well as the next element two memory address it will hold that is called doubly linked list let i will read this you can understand doubly linked list holds the address of next as well as previous node okay that is the previous one and next one that is forward and backward okay for example if i want to say the example a of one the link part is there no it will hold the two memory address what are the thing one is a of zero yeah. Zero and, and A of two. Very good. A of two. A of two. Superb. Nicely you said that. Okay, that's what. That is called doubly linked list. They will ask the uh, difference between. This is one of the prominent question in the Viva verse. They will ask the external will be asked. What is the difference between singly linked list and doubly linked list? Or else he will ask the question. Explain the linked list. Then you have to say linked list having the uh, memory address of it is called as node. It having two parts. Then what is the use of it and the explanation about the Singly linked list and double linked list. That also you have to explain. In even in exam also, theory exams also, this such, such type of question will be asked in there from singly linked list and double linked list. This concept. The third point will be 
maximum they will ask the question because many of the student may not understand properly that's what uh, uh, they will ask the question but if you understand means you no need to worry it is not a big concept very easy only isn't it easy easy only no yes sir yeah correct that's what okay. yes sir easy sir yes the double linked list it will hold the memory address of the previous element and next element now i will ask one question for example in the double linked list what the what are the address it is storing in a of 0 can you say sir null and a of 1 super super null <laughs> there is previous is nothing that's what it hold the null and the next one there is forward movement or the successive element a of 1's memory address it is stored at the link uh, part in the node have you understand very nicely you said who is that you know the name navin <coughs> navin very good navin okay super okay so i hope you understand the linked list this is a linked list concept okay node info link single linked list double linked list these are all the terms you want to keep in your mind regarding the linked list okay that's all man we completed the uh, theory portions maximum okay let we go to the i mean this we will see the overall view okay, then we'll yes, to the topic okay and next is trees you already know are the uh, trees are the multi level data structure having the hierarchical relationship among its element is called as nodes okay hierarchical first one is called as node let me see in an example also a is called it is again classified into two branches okay b and c likewise you can see top node is called as root can you imagine that one top node is called as root of the tree and yes, bottom most nodes are called as leaves of the tree okay yes. then yeah each of the node hold the address of the nodes below it okay below it it will be never contains a closed loop there is no close okay because each the branch having its unique one okay that's what that is called tree okay and next one have you understand the tree concept yes sir yes sir okay fine i will just explain it if it is possible i will just open an image for you you already know that that is the same thing on them just a minute yeah this is the call this is called root the a is called as root again the a is classified b and c then a holds the memory address of what a holds the memory address of b and c b and c okay and b is again b is a now is a sub root or the branch again it is classified into d and e okay the end of the list for example h i e f g these are all called as leaf because it is not again classified no that's what we have seen uh, you can see this the top most node is called as root of the tree and the bottom most nodes nodes means the memory address okay nodes are called as leaves of the tree okay each of the node holds the address of the node below it which having the relation that it will hold the address okay that is the concept okay let me go to the next one and uh, you can see this one minute trees is a graph also the same concept only the graph graph image have you seen that no yes sir yeah that is the concept yes sir it is awesome yeah okay good so it having a then it having it is a not it is a not a closed one tree is not closed one suppose graph is a closed one we can have a circuit i mean it's closed loop so that is part okay, let me go to the next one and what are the operations we are doing in the data structure that is insertion you know that we can add an element we can delete an element we can search an element these are all the programs we are going to do it it is nothing new for it it's already you learned it okay but anyhow we are going to see this one okay insertion that is in pop it is sorry in stack insertion is called as what in stack push 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 but am i getting the answer q q q insertion is called as nq nq good and deletion in stack what is called yes chandra Some migrating in answer. Sir. Pop, pop, sir. No, oh, he is asking something. What is it? Sir, he is asking the last merging. 
merging merging okay merging means yeah. adding the joining the two things <laughs> okay okay good uh, deletion let me come to the second point uh, chandru we listen deletion in stack it is called as what this is pop pop in uh, in queue dq dq good okay this are all the common operation now searching is how to search in elements in the list or stack or queue that is different one and traversing traversing means you already know from the second chapter onwards i am saying each everything every data type having the traversing program definitely one of the traversing program will be appear in the board exam okay so uh, string list uh, dictionary all the concepts traversing is very important even in the stack queue linked list especially the linked list traversing program definitely they may ask more possibilities are there in the board okay the traversing means accessing all the elements you can see the definition processing all data processing. elements one by one processing means we are accessing or we are doing the operation on over there each and every element first element then second you know that can you recall the second chapter we discussed traversing program and all and we recall that yes sir yeah that is the concept and sorting you know that what is sorting either arranging the uh, or uh, elements in an ascending order as or in descending order that is concept is called sorting okay and let me see the merging merging means adding the you can see combine oh, sorry combining elements of two similar data structure to form a new data structure that is two similar data structure means for example adding the two queues adding the two stack or adding the for example two list okay first list with the plus second list there is a list concatenation that we have seen okay or else by using the extend extension extend method is different extend method will add all the elements as a one of the thing okay that is the concept extend method we can use or else uh, concatenation method also in the list or stack or queue okay this is called merging these operations and for this uh, even updation also there updating element okay for this concept we are going to write the or see the programs for the upcoming slide that is our concept okay students have you understand have you understood yes sir uh, now yes, we are sir. going yes, to yes, enter sir. into the linear list okay that is very important linear list uh, before stack and queue first we will take the list because it is a known topic no for us that's what let me go with after that we will go come uh, come again for the stack and queue okay the linear list is a data structure form a sequence okay that is you know, know that this is a linear list what is the size of the list how to calculate the size of the list one formula is there the m1 nothing that we can easily using the len function len of uh, list name if you give means we will get it isn't it right no correct hello yes sir yeah yes sir right yes, sir. you can see this in third point an array story a list of finite numbers of homogeneous element homogeneous means same is concept for array but in our list is heterogeneous we can show multiple data type no in this there is no concept called array that's what i am uh, again repeating it okay size of the list one formula is there upper upper bound minus lower bound plus one this is the formula we need to use okay what is upper bound means what is the maximum value okay minus lower bound for example what is the maximum value 6 isn't it for example for example lower yes, bound yes, is yes. what 0 0 okay this we uh, sorry we need to go for the element let you see 6 minus 0 uh, then what is the thing 6 6 one again will come six. plus 1 as per the formula you can see this lower upper bound minus lower bound plus 1 so 7 7 is the size of the element Am I right? Zero to six is seven elements are there, no? Yes, sir. And then that is the same thing only. That is uh, that we have to use this formula. That's what I am coming to. Sir, upper bound na maximum value then, sir. Yeah, no maximum index. Last index is called as upper bound. You can see the index is are start from zero, no? Zero, one, two, three, like this. Huh? Upper bound means okay, last okay, index. Sir. Yeah, that one. Lower bound means definitely it will be zero only. Okay, first time. Then plus one, we are adding with one. So six minus zero plus one equal to seven. So what is the size of the list? Means seven. That is the simple formula to calculate it. I think uh, students, we today we discussed about the Q and what are the concepts in Q. We have discussed and a linked list, especially we have seen in the two parts are there. That is what is uh, before that we concerned about the node. Okay. Then we discuss about the two type of nodes. I mean two parts in the nodes. What are the two parts? in the node link 
link first one is what info 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 yeah and info and seen, link good and we have seen about the singly linked list and doubly linked list two type of linked list also we have seen okay now we enter into the linear list okay upcoming slide we will see about the programs now on what we no theory only programs we are going to concentrate okay students very nice to see okay, you okay sir okay have a good day thank you to all have a good day sir bye sir thank you sir